my parents taught me the value of public service. It wasn't about career advancement, and it wasn't about a lofty title. It was about being an advocate, a champion, somebody who stood up for those who can't stand up for themselves. <laughs> Michelle has always been committed to public service. I can't think of one cause that Michelle, when she was aware of it, wouldn't just go to bat, just instantly work, work, work for every cause. For nearly two decades, I fought for seniors, I fought for the disabled, and I fought for the veterans of New Mexico. One time she took me with her to a, a senior center in Albuquerque, and I just saw her in action with, those, with the seniors, and, and her caring and loving attitude just, just made me like her even more. People would come to tears just thanking her for the work that she had done, or how, how she had touched their family or changed their life. She's very aware of seniors, their issues, veterans and their issues, and she'll advocate for us. We want to fight against injustice, and we want to make the priorities of working families first in this nation. I see Michelle as someone who is always seeking equality for every one of her constituents. I think Michelle has got um, a, an incredible drive, and I believe she also has the ability to listen and hear what, what people of New Mexico are asking her. And I've noticed one thing about her, she's got a big heart. No matter what you've got to say, she'll listen. And she's got answers. We must be dedicated to advancing and preserving women's rights. We cannot roll the clock back on all the gains that we have made for women. I'm concerned about the women uh, of the country being attacked right now. I'm confident that Michelle can uh, stand up for us and she'd have a strong voice. I want to carry the torch for our daughters. I have stood and protected a woman's right to choose and I will do it again now. I think we need more women in Congress. I learned a lot from my mom. She's just so strong and determined. So it's so inspiring to watch her accomplish everything that she wants to do. How about if the rich pay their fair share of taxes? How about if we take out the loopholes that protect big oil companies and protect folks like Mitt Romney not to pay their fair share? What if we instead invest that money in preventing Medicare from becoming a voucher program and allowing the Republicans to privatize Social Security? I am 100% sure that she is going to fight for seniors. She's going to f fight for health issues that are very important to, to us and here in New Mexico. We all need Michelle. Everybody in New Mexico needs her. Public schools and starting the economy and getting jobs on the ground are the most important things that we should do. Now that's an agenda in Congress that I think is worth fighting for. She's got a, a very good sense of the job creation. She's got a really good sense of what it can do for the economy. I just like Michelle because she is a go-getter. I think you want a champion in Congress. I think you want a champion who shares your values. Michelle would make a marvelous member of Congress. So today, I ask you, will you stand with me against the bullies who are waging a Republican war on women? I think Michelle is perfect person to represent the first district. I'm excited to see her in Congress because I know that she has the determination and the ability to help us. Will you stand with me to protect veterans and to assure that they have the benefits and services that they and their families deserve? I know Michelle will fight for veterans. Will you stand with me? to stop the attacks on public education and say no to the vilification of our public school teachers. Michelle would be great in Congress because she wouldn't give up until she got what she wanted. And will you stand with me to make sure that we protect the rights of every single New Mexican? She's not worried just about one group or one, one neighborhood. She's worried about the entire picture. 
And when I talk about equality and civil rights, I mean all New Mexico families. She would be phenomenal and would be someone that we could all be proud of and someone that would, would leave a legacy. I ask you to stand tall with me and make a difference in Washington. I'm ready to work for you.